Hello everybody, my name is Bitorn, and welcome to another Kerbal Space Program video. Um, well, before I show you guys what we're going to be, tell you guys what we're going to be doing this, uh, this, in this video, I just want to say, I messed up guys. I, uh, I went to Juna, and I, this is my first attempt at, uh, landing on Juna, and I didn't have enough fuel. I ran out of fuel halfway through trying to get down here and now I've got these Kerbals who are stuck near the Arctic border. They're stuck on Juna and uh, yeah. We've got to get them back. I want to build a space plane to get these guys back because I think a space plane would be really cool and I haven't really made a space plane yet I'm gonna make a massive space plane because why not right oh my god that looks badass oh that is so cool and it's got the dark goo dark matter drive dark drive at the back I think the dark drive doesn't look too good though, so I might replace it with another engine. Still, just look at it. it looks so cool. I'm so proud of this thing. The Falco 1 is ready for launch. Activate engine, so I'm going to turn off the atomic engine because I don't need it. Falco 1, launch in 3, 2, 1. Let's go. Oh, that is cool. I just love the engines. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's not giving me much thrust, though. Maybe I need to activate the atomic engine. Atomic engine does give me a bit of thrust, but... Actually, not that much. Don't even need this. Wait, do I? Oh, well... If I needed it, it's uh, blown up now, so I guess I won't be using that. Uh, pull up. Pull up, pull up, pull up. There we go. Falco 1. Successful launch. This is actually really cool, come to think of it. This is one of the... This is one of the best space planes I've ever designed. It just looks so cool. It looks sort of like a. It does look like a falcon. Or at least I think that's what a falcon looks like. I didn't really. I don't really know. <laughs> now I'm going to turn off the engines and just let it glide down. Turn on the brakes. Let's see if we can land this thing. We're lined up with the runway. Let's see if we can land this thing. I think I might revise the design, remove the remove the nuclear engine at the back, because it seems to fly much smoother without it. Because, you know, it didn't fly at all with it, so... Yeah. Alright, we're coming in. Whoop. There we go, touch down. See if we can break this thing. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. Ah, we've run off the runway. That's annoying. Guess we did technically land on the wrong way. I want to see if I can get back on it actually. See if we can use our momentum to get back on the runway. That nope, doesn't look like it. Alright. I'll settle for a normal, normal landing then. Well, successful test. Although the the nuclear engine broke off, might have to change that. Yeah, might have to change that. So I've made some changes to the Falco. Um, what I've done is I've um, changed the engines at the back. I've changed it to two uh, dual atomic engines, which are smaller, and I put on uh, some 
turbojet engines to use up some of our fuel as well and there's a intake on here so that will be useful and uh, yeah so uh, let's launch this thing and uh, I put on the engines backwards how did I do that Is it just me, or does that actually look like where the thrust comes out? They're not, they're not even providing much thrust. Are they even... I'm gonna have to switch them around now, that's annoying. Alright, so now the engines are on the correct way, finally. Oh, that's the intake. Ah, oh, now that makes more sense. Alright, so they have their intake built on themselves. Whatever. Let's just launch and see if they actually do anything. I don't think they do anything, do they? Oh, I think they need to get up to speed. I think that's what I heard. Alright, so... I think I need to get up to speed, and then these will actually start working. So, old turbo range, yeah, yeah. I need a lot of speed to start off with, I'm guessing. Uh, and we can get that if we don't crash. But it seems like we will, so, uh... Let's, I think we should get me out of there. There we go. I saved ya. You can thank me later. Oh, wait, what? Up. Um, um. What just happened? <laughs> did... Did you just phase through the ground? Okay, then. So I'm gonna move the wheels over to the wings. Hopefully that fixes some of the issues we're having. I I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to do this sort of stuff. I just I just build rockets. I don't build space planes that often. I don't really know anything about these. All I know is that instead of going up, they're meant to go sideways. That's the total extent of my knowledge. Alright, take three of the Falco launch. And, uh, oh, they're a little bit low. Oh, well, well that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Still go on. It will be fine. Believe me. Believe me, on the, in on in the internet. I can't possibly lie. We're drifting all over the place, and I don't know why. It just keeps drifting. Well, we can get off the ground now, so... At least we can do that, and we can lower our thrust a bit. To conserve fuel, although we've got quite a lot of it. I want to get into orbit and uh, get into rendezvous with a fuel station that I've got up there. See the STEM station. STEM stands for So Totally Epic Mission, because, uh, this is a So Totally Epic Rescue. I, th I thought it was quite fitting, really. I mean, I, th I thought it was quite fitting, I don't know about you guys, but... So, as you can see, we are now in orbit, over Kerbin, I, uh, Still have a bit of to go to get to the space station, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll get there eventually. Hopefully, maybe. I think I cannot seem to find any connectors for where I can put connect my winch to uh, this ship. I think I might have forgotten that. So, um... 
I'm going to have to fly up an adapter just so that I can refuel this guy. So I'm just going to have a small probe go up there, connect with a space station so that it can refuel with everything, yada yada yada. You know the drill. So, uh, that's going to be a bit of a pain. But, uh, it's alright. I'm transferring some of my guys off, uh, of this ship and, um, into this little habitat module here because, um, I haven't got anywhere else to put them, really. Oops. Hit the head there. That's, that's fine. This can just go floating off into space. It doesn't really matter. I'll just send a... When I'm coming back to Earth with uh, that thing, I'll just come and pick this up. So, let's uh, board. There we go. Can I even control this thing? No, I cannot. Because it isn't actually a ship. Alright, well, this is going to go away forever. Now we can dock this thing. Possibly, I hope. Just stop. Stop. Stop it. Stop. There we go. Finally. Now we can refuel this guy. It only took, what, like, half an hour? <sighs> now we can do this. Finally. Alright, so I connected up to uh, this bit here. Wait, a uh, plug. There we go. And now go back to the ship. And we can uh, refuel, hopefully, I think. I've never actually done this before. Oop, the ship is turning sideways. That is not a good sign. I want to get in before this flies off to some place unknown. Yeah, so the, sh the ship is spinning. Uh, no biggie. As long as it didn't doesn't hit into the space station, it's fine. No, don't hit into the space station. Do not hit into the space station. I'm going to bring in this side's uh, solar panels, just in case it does hit something. Because this could be disastrous. Oop. No. Oop. Wait, is it winching? No. Don't. No. 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 Let's undock. Um. Um. Excuse me? What? Uh, let's unplug. Oh, what? Ah. Are you kidding me? That's disappointing. I don't even know if I should save this video, because it's not exactly... Ah. <sighs> That's disappointing. So, I'm afraid I'm going to have to end it here, guys. That was a disappointing ending, but um, we're going to have another crack at it in the next video. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, a like would be greatly appreciated. Let's see if we can get to five likes. That would be awesome. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.